If you are looking to really rev up your Shopify store and create product pages that convert like hell, I have some exciting news for you. In today's video, we are gonna walk through a step-by-step -step tutorial base on how you can create incredible product page templates using Shopify's 2.0 features. So this is a really awesome way to essentially take your product pages that used to have just a simple product image description and maybe one other thing and now basically create them or turn your product pages into like your home page on your Shopify store where you can add customization, you can add video, you can add opt-ins and you can just do a lot more things to help con your conversion rate. So in this video, we're gonna walk through step-by-step um, -step how you can set that up in Shopify in just a few minutes and I hope you love this video. I think this video is gonna be super fun and I love doing all things Shopify, Team Shopify over here. Um, if we have not met, my name is Carrie Fitzgerald. I am a product-based business coach, mentor, educator, and your best friend when it comes to starting or growing your e-commerce business. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, be sure to tap that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up. We have new videos coming out every Thursday and they are not going to disappoint. So let's dive into the video. So when it comes to basically creating a website that builds trust, creates credibility for your brand, but also increases your conversion rate, you want to really dive into Shopify 2.0 and you want to create product page templates, which I'm going to walk you through in this video on, and we're going to just walk through the difference between a standard product page in Shopify and then the power of what you can do by creating a product page template, which you can literally create in like 10 minutes. So let's dive into it. So first things first, you're gonna wanna make sure you have Shopify 2.0 as your website theme right now. So if you're not sure, you wanna head over to your um, Shopify store and you wanna kind of look at right here, it'll say your current theme. And generally when you import a theme, it'll say like the title, it'll give you the website theme and it usually will say 2.0 if it's a Shopify 2.0 theme. So if you look down here, you can kind of see some of the older ones from um, April of last year, they don't say anything about 2.0. So the first 2.0 theme that we used for this brand was in October. So that's how you know. And essentially for this business, I update their themes. I give them seasonal websites. So I have to kind of update stuff quite often, which is fine. But in here, you want to kind of look at, do I have 2.0? And then if you're not sure, here's what you have to do. So make sure you're logged into your Shopify store and then update. I'm sorry, go to the um, Shopify themes page. So themes.shopify.com find your website theme. So again, if you're not sure, go back to your website here. It usually will tell you what the theme is in the title. So their theme is symmetry. So you'd come over here and you would click try theme. So even though like it doesn't say like, oh, this is your theme, but it will recognize if you're logged into your store and you come over here and you click try theme, it's going to basically open back up here with the updated version. And then you have to basically customize that with your current stuff. So you have to change some things around. It's not just going to automatically pull your old website stuff. You have to change some of your homepage, but honestly, it will, it's not difficult to do. It just takes a little bit of time, but it's worth every penny. Shopify 2.0 is absolutely incredible, but the power of 2.0 is truly in what you can do with the product pages. So that's what I want to focus on today. So this is like an old, for this brand, this is like their standard product page. So it has the image, the title, the description, more images. Then it goes down into product recommendations, which is just a part of their theme. And then we have a review app that has built in. And so we get reviews that are added um, automatically. And then it goes into the footer. So what you can do is basically make this way, way, way better using a product page template. So I wanted to show you first what to do. So you come over here, you go open up your store, your theme, your new theme. You come over here, you click product, and you're going to want to come, come down here and click create template. And so this is where you're going to create your new product page template. So I've already created one right here. It's called new 2023 product page. So I'm just going to click on this and I'm just going to show you like the power of what you can do because it's pretty incredible. 
So if you come over here, this is like what the product page used to look like is just this right here. It was just like the description, the images, et cetera. But now if you come down here, you can click um, add block. And actually I'm gonna get rid of this little thing there. Um, sorry. So add block is within the product page, which we're gonna walk through in a minute. But down here is where you can click add section. So if you come over here, this is completely new. This is the kind of stuff that you that you would that you're able to add on the home page. But now because you're creating a product page template, you can add all of this goodness. So we have featured collections, we have image with text blocks, we have slideshows, we have video, we have blog posts, we have um, coll collapsible tabs, we have custom content, we have gallery. So you have so many things that you can add in here. So I just wanna walk you through what I've done with this page to show you some of the ideas that you can do for your website. And what this will do is you create a template and then what you have to do is you have to go into your products up you have to exit out here, go into your products, and then you assign a product to your new template. So that's how it's going to show up. So this is just the product page template. This is not, you don't have to do this with every single individual product. So I want to make sure that's clear. So here, what I've done is I've come in and I've added a video. So I've come over here, I've clicked add section, and I've added video. So why I added this is, is basically credibility. It's going to like, let me see if it'll play. So this video is, um, we had someone make this video for us for an event, but now we're gonna use this as social proof, as credibility, and just like watching a dog play with dog toys is gonna get someone to want to buy your toys more. So for your brand, do you have video? Do you have a UGC video that you can do? So this kind of stuff is essential for websites in 2023. Like I believe you have to have video. So I've just gone over here. I've added a YouTube link. You can create a free YouTube channel, add a video here, add some captions. And then I added an image for the cover and that's it. Super easy. Then I come down here and I've added a gallery. So I've come down and I've just literally said add section. And then I knew I wanted to have a gallery and I just clicked gallery. So you can add whatever the hell you want to. So I've come over here and I've just added, this brand has a lot of lifestyle images that are really beautiful. And I wanted to really capitalize on that. So when someone comes to the page here, they're gonna just be like, oh my God, like these are so cute. They're so fun. Like I need these toys too. So if your brand has a lot of beautiful lifestyle images, especially for apparel, jewelry, um, pet industry, beauty industry, you want to be leveraging lifestyle videos, which are, I'm sorry, lifestyle images, which are images that either customers or, you know, content creators have created for you using your product in real life. It is a game changer. Then I've come down here and I've added reviews. So this is, I pulled this from our homepage, which I'm not gonna actually show you, but I've just pulled two reviews from our homepage and just added those here. So again, you just come down, click add section, and you click on testimonial, which is right here. And then I think that is it for this page. So yeah, so that's, that's all I've added for this page. But there's honestly so many more things you could do. So you could come in here and click add section and you can just be like, hmm, what else do I want? I wanna add a list of all the places our brand has been featured. So you could come here and you could literally put as seen in and you could put a bunch of logos. So you can, um, I'm gonna delete this. You can come over here and you could put in, let me see what else. Um, you could put products if you wanted to. So if you have, if you, there's like a specific, you, you know, you could create a product page template for specific collections that you have. So you could have like five different product page templates for each collection. And then within that page, you could literally add in a, let's see what we could add in here. We could add in a collection list. We could come over here and we could just pull a collection. I mean, like I'm saying, the the opportunities are honestly like pretty endless at this point of the things that you can add in here. It's insane. So you come over here and you click add collection 
and you can add some information here and you would just be able to add a collection in there. So again, pretty freaking cool. I just want to show you what it would look like. So we'll just do um, all dog toys. So I'm going to click that. And then let's see, you have to sometimes adjust. Oops, nope, that's not it. <laughs> all right, let's go back over here. You could put like um, collections per list. So you'd basically have to come over here and add another collection. So let's do uh, let's do this one. But this looks really crappy. So again, just make sure everything looks consistent and neat. But we're going to come in here and remove this. Remove. Okay. So yeah, so that is how you do that. It's honestly super easy and it makes the world of difference. So now that you've seen this, I want to just do a full screen view. So this is what it would look like if you're a customer, you're popping on here. And I forgot to also talk about one other thing that I'll mention in a sec, but you come here, you're scrolling through, you're like, oh, this is kind of cute. I like it. And then you're like, oh, a video, let's play the video. You start playing it. You're pretty convinced you need one of these toys now, and then you're gonna keep going. And you're like, oh my God, look at all this cute, these cute images and like, Ooh, now I'm going to read reviews. So all this stuff together is building out like a mini sales page for your business. And you're way more likely to convert this into sales. If you have more of this kind of information, um, and this, because I didn't add a cover image, it looks kind of funky right there, but yeah, you can change all that. So one more thing I wanted to mention here are these things right here. So these are called collapsible tabs. And what I'm doing now is basically, instead of having all this clumpy stuff in here, I'm going to basically remove that and put those into a little collapsible tab. So which toy is best for my dog? And then it's going to be a drop down, and it will give you a little bit of information. So it's going to say, keep scrolling back up. One sec, let me exit this. Okay, so let's go back over here. We're going to go back over here to collapsible tabs. So basically what I did is I came over here and I clicked add block and I just clicked collapsible tab. And then you come over here and you change the title. So I'm just going to say, we love our customer. I'm just literally making something up just to give you an example. We love our customers. We're going to click award and then we're just going to put blah, 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 blah. So basically depending on like the types of information you want to give your audience, you can put that in here. And so you could do this by collections, you could do it by different things, but you want to basically have specific things about your brand, your product, important information. So instead of making people like read through all of this, they can just come here and they can click the drop down. And it's not actually showing you on here, but it, the drop down will be this right here. So Patrick Pet Promise and Mission. So it's going to say free shipping and then it's going to give them the mission statement. Then I have a free shipping block. So what I'm going to have to do go, is go back through their products and delete all of this text here. And it's going to look really, really, really clean once it's done. So for you, you want to always think, could I add these types of collapsible um, tabs to give information that doesn't look clunky like this does? So that is what it looks like. It's super amazing. And again, I just want to now remind you what their original page looked like is just the basic image description and then product recommendations. And that's it. So which one of these is going to get you to buy this product? And you already know it's this right here, all because you've created a product page. Now we're going to go and we're going to um, go back to products. And this is where you would now assign the product to the template. So you open up the product, you come down here, you click new 2023 product page and you save it. Now, if you have a lot of products, you can do this in a much easier way, but um, you wanna make sure that you are going in and adding all of that stuff in. So that is how you do it, but you must use Shopify 2.0. It is a lifesaver life and a game changer for your website and your conversion rate. 
So once you've created your product page template and you want to now add all of your products to that product page template, because otherwise it won't show up on your website because your website likely has a default product template. So you come up into products, you click all. So I've collected, I've clicked all product. You're going to click bulk edit down here. And this is the fastest way to do it. So you don't have to individually open every single thing. You come over here to template and you're going to have to use the drop down. You're going to click on whatever you've made your, oops, I forgot to tell you one more thing. Sorry. You come over here and click column. And so what I did was I clicked column and then I clicked template right here and then it added that column in here. So because we don't need this, I'm going to click back on column and just unclick what I don't need. That's all I need. So now I'm just going to go down here and just literally just go through one by one by one. So yes, this does take a little bit of time, but it's way quicker than updating it individually, which would be a friggin' nightmare. So you're just going to come here and do that for all of your products. And then you'll have beautiful product page templates. I hope you love that video. I loved it so much. I'm obsessed with Shopify. I think the power that you can do with Shopify 2.0 is kind of unreal. Um, if you need more help with Shopify, I'm your girl. You can grab two freebies in the show notes. One is a checklist on how to start your online store. And then one is a step-by-step -step guide on how to create and launch your e-commerce business. All right, my friends, until then, I will talk to you next week.